the kid's family presents the extinct animal part for the cave bear. Like and subscribe. Also click on the bell icon. Shark faced bear. Arctosia samius, once common in Ozarks, the short faced bear was the largest and the most powerful land predator in the North America, taller than the modern bear, with longer limbs and far reading face and toe. It is believed this bear was built to chase prey to exhaustion, running up to 40 meters per hour. Standing over 12 feet tall when reared up, the short-faced bear was the uncontest master of its world. The short-faced bear stood up to 6 feet at the shoulder and could weigh up to 2,250 pounds. Age range North and South America during the Pleistocene era 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. Description The short faced bear's skull with forward facing eyes, huge jaws, muscle, and pointed, shearing teeth identify it is an apex predator. Its wide nasal passage indicates a mean sense of smell and the ability to take in the great volume of oxygen while pursuing the prey. With an extremely powerful killing bite, the bear's diet included large herbivores such as bison, musk oxen, carbo, deer, horses, and ground sloth. Short-faced bear, Arctodocymus, polar bear, Urius maritimus, brown bear, Urius arcuts. Short faced bear genus are criminals lightly 10 a 54 belong to subfamily Termactine mammalia ursidae, which has only one living representative, the spectated bear. Primartus orantus, Cuvier, 1825, of South America, Cutin, 1966 and 1967, during the Pleistocene. However, this subfamily was wide separate and diverse, with the three species in North America, Arctus primineus, lightly, 1854, Arctodus simius, Coop, 1857, Trumac Arctus, Floridianus, Gidley, 1928, and as many as six in South America, up to five species of Arctotherium burmester, 1857, and probably T. orantes, C. soil basilzone, at almost 2005. In North America, the lesser short faced bear, A. primistus, appears first in fossil record and is considered ancestral to the giant short faced bear A. Simus. Curtin, 1967, Schubert, 2008. According to Richard, at almost 1996, A. Pristinius is only known from the early to late Pleistocene of Eastern North America. Also, C. Curtin and Anderson, 1980. Fossil occurrence of A. primitius are indeed concentrated in eastern United States, particularly 
in Florida, Imsal, 1995. However, it is now known that their fossil record extends from the late Blessinian to late Irvigotinian, late Pliocene to middle Pleistocene, and there are no confirmed Rancho Brian late Pleistocene specimen and confirmed. Most records of Florida cave bear are also known from the southeast third deer distribution is wider, extending west to southern California and Idaho, Curitin and Anderson, 1980, and possibly as far as Blythe, Miller, 1989. Temporally, T. Floridmus ranged from the late Pliocene until the end of Pliocene. Kirtin and Anderson, 1980, the giant short faced bear with the largest North American Tremis type. Large individual probably means reports the size of other quaternity asteroids in this region, and some may have weighted over a metric ton. Christesian, 1999. Besides their large size, they differ from A. Pristinius in the following proportion. Shorter snout, more and more robust teeth, and longer limbs. To Ritten and Anderson, 1980, record at almost 1960. Reviewed the fossil record of A. Simius and reported over 100 localities that range across contiguous United States South into Mexico and northwest into Brigia, record at almost 1996, also noted the consecutation lack of a simius from extreme southeastern North America. Others had previously noted this biogeographic deficiency, while Curitin and Anderson 1980, Wahirs and Corner 1982 for example, Curitin and Anderson, 1980 to 1990s, stated that the southeastern United States is devoid of finds of A. Simus, and his absence of this species in Florida is particularly striking, since Florida Pleistocene is rich in beards of other species. They will wrap up to new retrobrivian localities for A. Simus, which extend its geographic range over 700 km into southeastern North America. These two localities in Florida are within 10 km of each other, and at least three individuals of A. Simus are represented. Besides describing these new discoveries, this report uses Rare Earth Elements REE to collaborate and Rancho Brian 8 and 2 discussing Pleo Biogeography and size variation of giant short faced beards and present quantitative method to distinguish the teeth of the two species of Octo. First ever fully preserved adult cave bear found frozen in Siberia.
The cave bear had a very broad domed skull with a steep forehead and its stout body had long thighs, massive shins and in turning effect making it similar in skeleton structure to the brown bear. Cave bear were comparable in size to or larger than the largest Morgan day bears, mirroring up to 2 meters 6.6 .6 feet in length. The average weight for the males was 350 to 600 kilograms, 770 to 1320 IBs, though some specimens weighted as much as 1000 kilograms, 2200 IB, while female weighted 225 to 250 kilograms, 495 to 550 IB of cave bear skeleton in museum. 90% are classified as male due to a misconception that a female skeleton were really dwarfs. Cave bear grew larger during the glaciation and smaller during the interglacials, probably to adjust heat loss rate. The cave bear, Eurasius cicleus, was a species of bear which lived in Europe during the Pleistocene era, an era which was marked by the disappearance of ice covering the earth and the appearance of humans. About 1.6 and 10,000 years ago, they became extinct about 2,000. 700 and 500 years ago, the cave bear had big skull with steep forehead. They had strong and tough body and had long and big limbs. Their figures were quite similar to the brown bear. Cave bear were comparable in size to the largest present-day bears. The average size of male was about 400 to 500 kilograms, 880 to 1000. 102 pounds, while female weighted 2,225 to 250 kg, 496 to 551 IPs. Evidence indicated that they probably spent more time in caves than in brown bears. They were probably herbivores in which they fed on plants and grass. However, they were also potential carnivores, as their fossils also indicated that they might also eat meats of other animals. They possibly consumed meats through cannibalistic savaging, an act of looking and eating dead or rotting flesh of animals. Yeah. They became extinct at the period where many other species had also became extinct. The cause of their extinction could be attributed to several reasons. There was a probably possibly that they died because of the decline in their natural habitat. They used caves as their hibernation during winter, and when they could not find caves to stay, they probably died due to the cold and harsh environment of winter. They had to complete for caves, especially when there is a limited number of caves and some of them had been occupied by humans. When they arrived to the continent, the some of them could not find caves during winter, which then led to their death. Their extinction could also be associated with the arrival of humans to the regions, and also the decline of their food source. Isometry of a cave bear 1048 kilograms, 170 centimeter, 1.7 meter tall, and largest skull. Follow Kids Family, subscribe, like, click on bell icon. Now, we will talk about the reasons for extinction of cave bear. The 
huge cave bear that once roamed Europe may have gone extinct because their large sinus made it difficult to adapt their diet during a severe cold snap. Cave bear, which weighed up to 1,000 kg and had a plant-based diet, went extinct 24,000 years ago when temperatures plummeted during the last glacial maximum. He noted that the two main hypotheses, not necessarily exclusive, have been proposed to explain the cave bear extinction, a human drive and decline, either by competition for resources, or by direct hunting, or a substantial demise in population sizes, as a result of the climate cooling that occurred during the intergalactic ice age. Scientists have speculated that the bears died out because the colder climate depleted food ability or when they drive into extinction by prehistoric humans. But one mystery is why closely related brown bears manage to survive in the same conditions. Thank you for watching Kids Family. Like, subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.